Hey parents, this is Mr. Paul again. I uh, didn't want to send out an email to you. Figured I'd throw you a video, kind of do something a little bit different so you could listen to it as opposed to uh, read it. Uh, a couple things we wanted to hit this week is I understand that some of you are, are like me, that you are still at work, you're still doing your normal day-to-day, -day, plus you're coming home and you've got kids at home that are needing help with schoolwork and things like that. So I, I want you to understand completely. I want you to, to know that um, with the Awana ministry, we're not here to, to say, hey, you got to get your lessons, you got to get your verses and things like that. We're here to help. So I know some of the kids uh, want to continue doing the, the, their lessons, their materials and things like that, and we're just going to offer that to you. There's also the opportunity that you could just share the, the lessons with them, share that the lessons that Miss Kara is doing or the lessons that I'm doing for the TNT and, and just let them know that we're thinking about them. That'll help give some uh, stability to them as well. One other thing that we're doing that um, is coming up this Sunday, April, uh, April 5th, is our drive through Easter egg hunt. It's from 5 to 7 at the church. And I want to encourage you to bring, uh, to tell your friends and neighbors about it. And basically what we're planning on doing is this. Uh, no one gets out of their car. We, we have volunteers that are will be there directing traffic. We'll have volunteers that will be passing out the Easter egg packets and, and collecting canned goods and non-perishable food for Kingdom Life Food Pantry. Don't even have to get out of your car, but it's an opportunity to get out of the house, drive somewhere, drive back home, have a purpose. And what we're planning on doing is we have some gift bags for the kids, one for each um, kid in the family. And it is a collection of Easter eggs that you as parents could hide later on in the in the yard and around the house and let the kids find. Uh, there's some little activities that they can do as well in the packet. It's just an opportunity that if you have a family that is uh, bored from being cooped up or just want to get out for a, a brief minute or two, that you can do it. Uh, again, this is an opportunity for you to, to, to not get out of the car. We're not going to, you know, we're going to keep the social distancing. We're going to keep things as, uh, as encouraging as possible as you go through. And all we're asking is that you bring a non-perishable food item to share with Kingdom Life Food Pantry. Again, it is this Sunday, April 5th from 5 to 7, and it might not take you even that long to, to drive on through, but we, like I said, we'll have volunteers in the parking lot directing traffic, uh, and we have, a, 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 as it says here, a bag filled with stuffed Easter eggs and activities you can do at home as a family. Something that we want to just encourage you in this time of being uh, cooped up in the house. Another thing that I wanted to share with you um, is this right here. And it's just a quick verse. The verse says, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, Romans 8.26. Uh, there's a lot of questions, a lot of um, doubts about what's going on, what's happening, what we should be doing. And I want to encourage you, parents, and and just in the fact that uh, God does have the answers. This is, you know, I, I hate to use the cliche that everybody's been using that this didn't take God by surprise. Uh, he knows what we need. He knows what's best for us. And um, it's when we are the weakest that he shows the strong, uh, his strength through his spirit and through his guidance. Uh, last thing I want to share with you is if you do uh, want to, with the... Uh, the Sparks group, I know we haven't given a lot of guidance on this, but the Sparks group, if you want to continue working with your kids on their sections, um, this is a, a screenshot of the Sparks book. And if you look right over here, you'll see it tells you what verse they're to memorize and it has a leader sign off. And right up in the upper corner right up there, it tells you what section is, 1.2 in this instance. And for those kids that have already gone through their books and they're working on the review, 
You see that little circle right there? That is it tells you that that is something that a uh, section to be reviewed. So you turn to the page, find that review section, and it'll tell you you know the verse to memorize and repeat to your parents. And then as a parent, you can sign off that section. And here is an end section. And if you notice right here, see how it has the wings and it tells you right here, it says you earned your hang glider pilot wings and red jewel one. So it'll tell exactly what they're, re what they're earning. And again, in the upper section up here, in this instance, it says 1.4. So this is just a screenshot of the book. Um, if your kids are wanting to continue on with their books, uh, we're hoping to be back together in May. We're going to keep giving you updates. We're going to keep providing you with lessons. Again, it's not something we want to force you to do. I don't want you to feel obligated to continue with the books, but we want to have an opportunity to, to provide a resource that if you want, um, want to do a lesson or want to do a, a with your family, it's there, it's available to you, and it's not... Uh, it's individuals that are that are uh, familiar with your kids that your kids are familiar with. Again, if there's something that you have a question about or something that we might be able to help you with, we're here. We want to help you. We want to be a resource for you, and we want to encourage you in your relationship with God and re your relationship with Christ. And uh, again, we don't want you to feel like you have to. We want to encourage you in, in what you're doing. Uh, we're praying for you, and again, I, I do want to close in prayer and just ask for the Lord's blessing on you and your families. We pray. Let's pray real quick. Okay. Heavenly Father, I do thank you for the opportunity to work with the Iwana Ministry at Five Forks Baptist Church, and I thank you for the families that we've been able to um, interact with and the children. I ask that during this time of uncertainty and 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 sometimes fear that you would. Send your spirit and in our weakness, it, um, be our strength, be our guide. And I would ask you to be an, a blessing, uh, bring blessing on each of the families that are uh, part of this Awana ministry and help us to be a blessing to those around us. Pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, I want to remind you, this Sunday, April 5th, drive through Easter Egg Hunt at Five Forks Baptist Church from 5 to 7 Come any time um, between that time, and we will have a, a Easter egg uh, gift for you, and that includes some family activities and things like that. Keep paying attention to our fiveworks.org website, and also check us out on Facebook. Uh, they are doing online services as well as we have multiple uh, Bible studies that that can be done. Uh, for parents, for teens, and we just want to be there to encourage you and, and to bless you as a family. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at fiveforksawana at yahoo.com, and we would be um, pleased to help you in any way we can. May the Lord bless you, and we are looking forward to getting back to seeing you all again.